All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet another. And yes, today we got another stack, a huge clothing haul. And today's clothing haul is actually going to be brought to you guys by Bump. Yes, the clothing haul is sponsored this time. Now, Bump is actually a peer to peer app for selling, buying, trading, and processing hype items from brands like Bape, Supreme, even Pata is on the app. You know, you got people selling worldwide on it as well. And one of the best features on the app is definitely the filter feature where you can actually go in and filter out by brands, colors, size where the item is located at in the US or the UK or wherever you're at in the world and also this allows you to actually filter for proxy so if you're looking for a specific item you just want to get it proxied you can actually go in the proxy filter and find it with that brand right here I went ahead and tried it with Supreme now it was only off week so the Supreme drop has already happened you guys know the proxying service is going to change week to week now as far as selling goes on the app it's actually really really simple because everything is done through PayPal you would just go ahead load it up Go ahead, take your photos, create your listing, set your price, and yes, I am going to be putting up a small box logo on mine for I think about five bucks because it wouldn't actually allow me to put it in there for one dollar. And yes, it will be a real listing. So as you're watching this right now, if you want to go and cop that for five bucks, it's a brand new small box logo. It's up on the app right now. Link to download it is actually in the description box. And another thing I liked about the app was that the people behind it really, really stress community and people getting to kind of know each other and just being a nice place to go buy and sell and kind of create a relationship between a seller and a buyer or a product service to someone else just like when i listed my supreme shirt someone instantly messaged me back and was like yo five bucks because obviously it seemed kind of fishy but i went ahead and hit him back and just told him it was for a video i marked it as sold out so right now it might be available unless somebody else got to it first and five bucks for that tea is way below retail and way 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 below resale so if y'all want to go ahead and check the app out the link is down below and trust me this will not be the last kind of crazy drop that i do on the app i have some other items that i'm thinking of maybe just tossing up there for five bucks and just seeing who can get to it first so like i said link to download is down below but you already know what time it is shouts out to bump i appreciate them for sponsoring this video and now it is time to get into the blessings get into the stack let's go grab it so this right here is going to be the full stack of blessings we got new stuff from bodega uh guests pleasures nike swish uh, uh bape is in here it's just a lot of really dope stuff in here that i've been waiting to show you guys i've been wearing it some of it just kind of peppering in the video see if you guys catch it but let's get into it this is the stack we got some good shit in here let's go ahead and hit that first montage So getting into the first couple items, we got two new accessories from Bape and Porter. Now I think these dropped on May 26th, and um, this is my first time ever just being on Bape and actually trying to cop some. This is my first ever cop on Bape Online. These bags sold out really, really fast. I was surprised I even got both colors. So of course, this is first camo, but this is the yellow first camo, and this is the Porter shoulder bag. And it's somewhat of a different form factor than what I'm usually used to. It's usually like a side bag, and this one is definitely like a, a longer slender bag. It's kind of hard to explain it, but you guys know what a usual waist bag would be to a shoulder bag. Now this one does have two pockets on the front, one big pouch in the front, and then you got a bigger pocket in the back orange guts on the inside you got a little bit more of that camo and a little velcro pouch pocket in the back so that of course is the first this is the yellow camo joint and then also i was wearing the green on me you guys can just see a little bit of a difference between what i would usually wear and this i just really like the different form factor and a couple of bait bags that i do have already from porter being the two in the back that i wear all the time and i actually picked those up while i was out in hong kong and i just used them a lot i, I think bape camo is it can be overdone too much bape camo can be too much babe camo but when you do it the right way especially with the bags and the accessories i think it's just a nice little thing to you know like kind of set the outfit off especially with that camo very recognizable and even if it doesn't match it's just kind of a little bit of something different a little bit of a color pop and a babe flex if we're being honest so babe 
Porter, two bags, blam, got them. And let's get into the next accessory, which is back here, which is just a hat from Bodega. Now this is of course inspired by the Dare logo. Bodega because kids and drugs and stuff on the front. Very, very simple hat, but it actually was available on Bodega. I have their Twitter notifications turned on. So he tweeted out about it, I copped it, and I got a lot more stuff from Bodega coming in a little bit in the video. So let's go ahead and move on to the next set of stuff. Now this jacket right here is crazy and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to get in. At one point it did sell out in my size. So I had to get a size large, but that is okay. It does fit a little bit wider, a little bit bigger than a regular size large, but that is the Nike Lab ACG PO Shell jacket. I got this from Bodega for not 400. It retails, this jacket retails at $400. I got mine for about 180, so a little bit more than half off. It just popped back up and I had to hop on it because I wanted it. Even when it was 400, I almost bought it. Now, why does this jacket cost so much? First of all, it is ACG All Conditions gear from Nike. You guys can see that on the front as well as the back, the ACG and Nike tags. But this was actually designed by Arison Hugh of Acronym and Joanna Snyder, who actually works with Nike, but was a former Acronym. I don't wanna say employee, but someone who formerly worked with Acronym. And you guys can definitely see where that inspiration comes from in the jacket. Just this weird asymmetrical zipper and just some of the pieces of the jacket and just the look and the fit and the feel. Now, if you're not familiar with acronym other than just the shoe collabs, they are a brand and they are very expensive, making some of the best tech wear out there. So I wasn't really surprised. I'm not really surprised when this stuff comes out so expensive. Now, other than this just being a dope jacket, the new Nike Lab stuff, this was an older jacket. This was from fall and winter 2017. The new stuff runs 600. There's a $600 jacket and I want two of them. So if anyone from Nike is watching, I'm fucking with the ACG stuff. Hey. Hey man, come on, bless the kid with something. But yeah, that was just my ACG jacket that I finally got. I really wanted to share this with you guys because I just got lucky. I caught a crazy blessing for over half off. That is a still Nike Lab ACG. Definitely gonna get more wear out of this when it gets colder because right now it's too hot. Too hot, especially during the day for this jacket. <laughs> So next up, I got three new pickups from Pleasures. If you don't search Pleasures, don't Google Pleasures.com especially if you're at work, it's not gonna be what you're looking for. It's pleasuresnow.com. Remember, I will link everything down below, but I got three new pickups. Now, first off, I got this, and all this stuff I actually ordered online, and everything that I ordered is actually out of stock right now. So first up, you have this T-shirt. Everything that they have fits true to size. This is a size XL, fits true to size, and this is just a confused tee, and I really like the colors on this one. Honestly, I have no idea who that is in the background. Kinda reminds me of like Justin Bieber or some shit, but I'm pretty sure it's not Justin Bieber back there, but Pleasures, it kinda has that VCR effect, and I really like this T-shirt because I thought that it went really, really well with the Comme des Garçons Air Max 180, so if you see me wearing this T-shirt more than likely, I'll probably throw these Comme des Garçons on. So that was the first tee, and we also had this, which is the same exact t-shirt, but in the squash colorway. You guys know I really like these more weird colors, and especially this colorway. The first time I ever got a squash color tee was from the homies over at Crooked Arrows. They do a lot of these more pastel bright colors, but this one is the same exact t-shirt, and um, I actually wore this t-shirt right here already with the Air Max 180, so that's just kind of my go-to combination as far as this t-shirt goes right here. But I will make it work bro the XL was sold out when I went up there so it wasn't much I could do so those were the first two t-shirts and then this one I've been getting a lot of questions about this tee right here when I wore it in some of my music reaction videos and this right here is the pleasures Baja tee all over sublimated stripes sublimated sublimated stripes um these are not sewn in stripes but pleasures now and I got this in the size XL 
fits true to size. You got your different color stripes and just a nice overall fit and feel on it. Um, I was kind of worried about what the stripes would be like if they were sublimated, but it actually feels really, really nice on the chest. I think it's an all over polyester tee or maybe some type of polyester and cotton mix. You got pleasures on the left chest running down. And honestly, it was just a nice combination of colors with this uh, like tan color, black and red. And then you have this deeper brown color. It was just a good mix of colors, a good tee, a good fit. And apparently a lot of people liked it because when I posted a video, I was getting a lot of questions. So yes, the Baja Pleasures tee blam y'all see it those are all the pleasures pick up let's go ahead hit that next montage <laughs> Next up, we got a crew neck from the Guest Farmer's Market. When they first talked about this whole Guest Farmer's Market thing, I was pretty hyped about it and I was like, dog, if there's anything like the complex kind guest booth is gonna be some fire fire pieces I think Sean did a really really good job with some of this stuff especially this this collab I know some of the stuff might be a little bit too colorful for people but I really like this sweatshirt and I was so glad I was actually able to cop now guests next time y'all do a drop please please get y'all timing right because bruh I missed out on a lot of stuff that I would have bought just because the timing was super screwed up the whole drop on guest.com got messed up and they had to actually push it back a couple hours but this was the crew neck in a washed out I guess plum or grape colorway all I know is that the fit and feel on this is perfect this is a size XL it is a French Terry crew neck and I just want to say man the over dye effect on this one just looks so good in this colorway looks so good there was a lot of different ones to pick from I like the yellow as well but this one right here was the one I really really wanted and the one I was actually able to secure now I ordered a couple other things but they actually ended up getting canceled like the book bag and I thought I went through for another hoodie and then actually marked it as this again that order got canceled and refunded so it was some it was some mess ups with the orders but at least I was able to get the one thing that I really wanted I wanted the multicolor stripe joint as well that rainbow joint that one was pretty fly as well but did not cop that one and then I also got another item so montage let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that now <laughs> Now these right here, they're called the Guest USA Jogger, but basically the 3M track pant, and they had a whole bunch of colors in this as well. Now I managed to get my size, a black size XL, and I thought it would be fitting like a 36 in the waist. Um, the thighs are what's killing me right now. The thighs are not fitting me. This right here doesn't fit me, but the bottom of the leg does, so I'm gonna have to let these go. This one is a size XL. I guess it's gonna fit like a 34 to a 36. Tag still attached and everything, but unfortunately I will have to let these go. I was definitely looking forward to wearing these. It's just an all over black pair of track pants, 3M stripe, and then you have your YKK zipper on the bottom. Guess branding really small, embroidered in right here. And um, this is one of my last cops. I really wanted the black book bag, and that was another thing that got canceled for me. I really, really wanted a new book bag. And uh, yeah, man, damn. I really wish I wouldn't have missed out on that. But yeah, that's the last of the guest pickups. The track pants and that crew neck. Crew neck is so fire, fit and feel on those. So nice. Let's get to the next montage. Up next, I got some new blessings from the homies over at Switch Authentics. You guys have heard me talk about them before. First up, they sent me this sleeveless hoodie. I don't know when I'm actually wearing this. You guys know I'm not a big fan of the sleeveless hoodies or short sleeve hoodies, but for the homies, I might go ahead and try it out at least once. So this was all purple. It says Switch on the front. Same drawstrings as on the shorts. And of course, they do match the shorts that I have right here. Team issue tag. 3M on the bottom. You already know how they do. I've been wearing that black hoodie in a couple last months a lot. And then these right here, bro, the 72 All-Star Western shorts with the python, with the snakeskin 
on them. So let's just talk about these real quick. Custom Michelin Ness Authentic Shorts right here. And I just wanna say, bruh, fit and feel once again, Really, really good on these. I love the yellow and purple. I actually posted up a picture in these on IG and just some of the smaller details to get into the drawstrings. Our purple gold tips have the swish debossed in the metal on the front. You got the swish once again with that purple snake, that purple python, that purple mamba in the front. And on the sides, you got the stars as well. And I actually wore these in the IG flick with the yellow or the super moon yellow Yeezys. But the first time I actually put these shorts on, I wore them with my uh, Supreme Air Max 98s because the snake skin match perfectly with the shorts um gold zippers just a really really good quality custom pair of shorts right here and um y'all already know how i feel about switch authentics bro i can't talk about them i can't gas them enough i think they do a really good job with their shorts and these are just super nice heavy weight as well and uh, they just stand out bro i was wearing these i got a lot of questions a lot of compliments so once again thank you to the homies over at swish 72 all-star shorts still available on the site and they got a whole bunch of other stuff so link is down below like i said before yeah I, I had to do it i had to do it okay let me let me get my bars in a little bit And now to end off the haul, I got a couple pickups from Bodega and then we can go ahead and get up out of here. Now, first up, this is the Beep Beep T. Once again, wore this on IG as well. And um, just really dope. Like the details in the beeper. You got Bodega always fresh in the bottom. It says Beep Beep on the bottom. It's no big deal. Just page me, baby. 866 eight five bodega i just really really like this t-shirt bruh love the motorola beeper on the back and once again the fit and feel is really nice on bodega in-house branded tees you got bodega really simple on the front the only thing i will say is that the neckline is a little wide in my opinion i would like it to be a little bit closer a little bit nice a little bit tighter around the neck but it's not that big of a deal and once again bro y'all know i already fuck with bodega so i have been waiting for this t-shirt to pop back up the first time it popped up it sold out and then it just popped up again and they had sizes and that's the same thing with these last two pairs of shorts that I got right here so bbt very dope love the graphic on the back but let's get into the two last pickups which are some new shorts now these last two pickups are the nylon bodega shorts and once again purple and yellow so i got mine in size xl and yes if you do cop these they are kind of similar to a water short really but they aren't exactly swim trunks they are all over nylon and yes there is also going to be some over there's going to be some knee action in these shorts if you don't like a lot of knee action these aren't the shorts for you purple with the yellow bodega embroidered in on the bottom left leg and then as we go to the back you got the really big yellow bodega printed down the right leg and um honestly i just really like the shorts i needed some new shorts for the summer and um i really like that old school nylon material so bodega nylon shorts and purple and then i also cop these right here which i thought were gray red and blue and these are actually all over olive green so it's an olive green short same exact fit and feel bodega in red this time embroidered on the left leg and then as you switch to the back there is bodega and a uh it's blue i don't want to say it's kind of like a darker blue it's not navy at all but one thing i did notice is that this one had a tag on the back and then the purple didn't there's an extra tag on this pair and there's no tag on the purple pair at all but they still cost the same price so it was what it was and i got both of these in size xl to me they fit pretty true they fit kind of like a 34 to a 36 rather than a 36 to a 38 but that is going to be a wrap for today's haul listen man comment down below what was your favorite piece if you've been copying anything if there's any brands you think i should look into a hey, scream at me down below and don't forget to like a to like a drop. I was going to say like a drop. And don't forget to drop a like on this video. Once again, thank you to the sponsor Bump on this video. Probably got some more stuff with them coming. And yes, at this point, uh, that t-shirt that you guys seen, this black box logo, yeah, it's probably sold. Someone's probably already gone and got it. So if you didn't get it by now, hey, download the app still and check it out. I'm going to wait for my camera to focus real quick. And I will see y'all on that next video, man. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blah, blah, of course. 
Bullet RC, and I will see y'all on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul, but that is it. It's a wrap. I am out of here. Peace.